Hey, uh, how you doing everyone? Force Raider here and welcome back for some more Thimbleweed Park. Unfortunately, this is the second time I'm having to record this because once again, I had some more audio issues. I don't know uh, which PC god I pissed off because apparently my uh, recording software has been having some fun switching to like different audio sources, but it's not supposed to do that if the audio source isn't disconnected while the uh, recording software is up. So it shouldn't do that. In fact, it didn't do it for, for what I used to record my microphone audio. In fact, I'm just gonna get that a little more out of the camp. There we go. And uh, I, I just don't understand what's happening. So this time I made sure that everything was set correctly and nothing was acting stupid. I also had to replay the game all the way up to the point where I was at. And then maybe I could go back to using the other save file <laughs> after this. I know there's one thing I forgot to do, but I can't for the life of me remember what that one thing was that was different from where I was when I started recording the last one. And then there was, of course, one thing that I did that I was not supposed to do yet. That's okay, because it was just grab an item. And now that all that's through and out of the way and all the explanation as to who, why there might be any inconsistencies between this and the last video. Now you know. Let's go ahead and get back to recording this video. Oh man, you know, when you see it say like two hours and 54 minutes as opposed to this, I'm like, wow. The difference between actually knowing what the heck you're doing. Okay, so let's see what the first thing I need to do is. Ah. I could probably do that real quick. Who's got that? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Yeah. Okay. So I got this piece of toilet paper here from the Quickie Pal bathroom. And we're going to use this to get our blood swab. Come on, Raz. Move a little quicker. I know it's across town, but... I don't care. I didn't think anything clever to say there. Other than just be a Very dick. plush for thimbleweed toilet paper. That worked. There we I go. have a blood sample. It's soaked with the dead body's blood. What a mess. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is a mess, isn't it? But we're about to make that mess a whole lot less messy. So I can't use it like that in the Bloodtron that I found out. It's too wet. But... Let's see here. Can I just go straight to the Quickie Pot? Yes, I can. Good. Let's go over here into the bathroom and let's use it with the hair dryer. It's and working. Hair dryer the paper is and dry dryer. I don't know why I said that. It's yeah, covered with the dead body's blood. Come on, Raz. You've done this all before. You know it in your heart. That's the wrong door. <laughs> what am I doing? He knows it, but I guess I don't. There you go. Do, 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 do. Use bloody toilet paper on. The blood trunk it doesn't. Alright, and then I'll need to get that wallet. Did Ran oh, that was the thing. I haven't had Ransom go pick up his package yet. I did give him a map though, so he can get around quickly. You know what? George, I'm gonna pick up this dust first. Oh, I got an achievement dust order. Hey, that ain't right. Well, let's see here. Let's go ahead and use That doesn't the... seem to work. Okay, I'm sorry, Ransom. I didn't use the right thing. You know, you always don't have to go bite my head off. Hey, George, you lazy I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? 
You haven't paid your taxes in years. Who do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, you. <laughs> all right, let's, let's open. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. Still apparently is a really good wallet. Check out this. Stop! Stop <laughs> Alright. I can go ahead and uh You got any ransom swag? N no, no, Didn't none we for you. Park guided tours. There we go. Now I'm too far away for him to talk to me. Hey, there it is. I got another job for you, buddy. All right, so why don't you be a decent human being for Want once? Want a free time. wallet? It's just reminding me of how awful my life is now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, love that. A good line. Have you seen my dime? No? Have but you I can seen give you my a dime? You want some sweet ransom swag? You got any gluten free donuts? I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I could use a clean wallet, thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Have you seen my dime? Hmm. Have you seen this isn't mud on the wallet. It looks more like a blood stain. There's nothing inside. No money nor any ID. I still don't know what kombucha is. Buy me some kombucha? No. Oh, he's desperate for kombucha. Hey, Bletron 3000. Uh, I got a little present for you. You can. Well, okay, I can't give it to it. That's weird. I thought the give command would work. Damn slow dot matrix printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood from corpse matches blood from wallet. Got it. And I'll put the uh, the book I found in one of the things in the building here into here that has the fingerprints on it. Matter of fact, can I? There's something I want to do that's a little different. Before I had uh, Agent Ray use the chainsaw to open up the sewer, but I wonder because Ransom won't go in, but will he at least use the chainsaw to? Uh, to cut the log. So I'll have him go to the mansion mansion to get the gas that's out front that I remember had seen before. Man, so go pick up that gas. I just steal shit from other people's homes. All gassed up. Yeah, it is. Gross! <laughs> That's all you have to say about that. Okay. Sometimes when I hear like the dogs and stuff in the background, I actually think it might be real. <laughs> like it's the neighbor's dog or something. I don't think you want to turn a clown loose with a chainsaw. You gotta be fine. You know, I, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. I need to Ray. stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Yeah. Time for the uh, the best face in all you of the take game this for, a while. for anyone to make. That's uh, some serious anger problems. Wait, did she take it out of her jacket pocket, but then stick it into her pants pocket? Okay. Ooh, dust. That's funny, you can see the dust, but you can't see anything the heck else. Wait. That didn't do anything. Oh, because I still have to use it. Hey, she just opened it, so. Ha ha! 
Oh, cool. I didn't, I didn't realize that switch was there before. Knob, wires. There's a poster. Ah. Let's look at that. Promotions from businesses that close down in town. Mm. What's this? An article from 1972 about the factory fire. But the text is faded, so I can't read it. This must be where any water drains to. Okay, cool. Got anything uh, else to tell before me to see? Some kind of knob or valve. Looks rusty and immovable. Exposed wires that look kind of dangerous. I'll have to keep all that in mind. I think at the very first, oh, there were there's something interesting. Pick up that dust. Yeah. It's not really dust, it's cocaine. I'm snorting it as I go. Huh. That might be a little bit RNG as to where everything's located. And here I know there's a little bit of RNG going on in the hotel. Ooh. More co I mean dust. Oh, there you are. Jesus. This is what happened to the crocodile from Lake Placid. I gave up looking at dinosaurs when I was eight years old. Didn't everyone? I mean, no. They're still really cool to look at. Ooh, yeah, before we move on. No. Okay. She went to the dust before he <laughs> even told her. Thank you. It's like where the majority of the dust in the game is. Hey. Forget that promiscuous item on that pillow there. You know, I'm giving me this dust. It's an ice pick. This could be the murder weapon. Pick that up. Ah, <laughs> red herring bags. These bags look like an adventure game red herring. Oh, wait, hold on. Widow's mushrooms. I hope this is what Madame Marina needs. Oh, oh, not talk to, look at. I want to look at the, the violin. Looks like it's lost a couple of strings. You know, you'd think they would say more about that considering that Willie said it was a Stradivarius, which, you know, there's not a whole lot of those in the world. It's supposed to be the uh, finest violins on the planet. Never mind violins, more dust. Yes, all the dust. I have a dust addiction. Yes. Oh, dust. You just get it. Oh. Ah. Yeah, good stuff. Just a little extra for the road. A fridge. In this case, I'd consider labeling it as a potential floating coffin. Yeah. Maybe Franklin's in there. I really don't know, actually. I'm just guessing. If I open the door, it will just sink. I, I, I don't know how to open that yet. Wait, a valve. I didn't see this. Looks like this valve has been welded into position forever. Really? I can't turn it. Oh, come on. Fine. It's time to leave. Or I could keep exploring and finding more dust. Mm-hmm. Jeez, no. On my other playthrough, when I when I resume that, the what what will now be referred to as the correct timeline. Uh, I'll have to go ahead and search here just a little bit better for some more dust. Cause this stuff's freaking everywhere. You'd think it would be a little too moist in here for all this dust. I'm not saying that dust doesn't accumulate in moist places, it's just that it starts sticking to each other. That it's really not dust, it's more like sludge or something of that effect. Oh, a bit more dust. And I already tried to use the key that I got with Dolores in the mansion mansion. It don't work here. 
Awesome. Hey, Ransom, how about you hang out here for a little while? I need uh, Agent Ray to go meet up with Agent Rez. Wait, where is Rez? No, I think he's at the... Um... There, I think he's here. Still waiting by the blood drawn. Yeah, good. Good. Makes things just a little bit easier. Or not. Did I not do I not have the fingerprint kit yet? There's a fingerprint kit here. Ah. How'd I miss that? Whoops. Right. Fingerprint kit. And, oh, I, I don't remember. Oh, the, the post office. You know what? Raz, you can go get the... Get the tape from the post office. Do, 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 do. Uh, that tape is for official government business only. Um... You know what? Maybe I gotta go ahead and talk with him. First, before he'll let me, you know, just take his tape. Because he was cool me. with it last Be time. Be with you in a second. Yeah, well, since you're with the government, I guess you're entitled to some tape. Just go easy on it. We're almost out. Um, well, that's a little different than what he said before. That's okay, though. Actually, no, I think he said the line that he said earlier, plus the one he just did now. So that's, uh, that's pretty much on point. All right, Rez. Time to get that tape back to Agent Ray. How about it just teleports me right here? Give, 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 give tape, give tape to the angry redhead. Whatever. Hey, don't whatever me, lady. You know, here I am busting my hump to help you out. The least you could do is say thank you. Right into the finger trial. Pick that up. Awesome. Yeah, fingerprints, murder weapon belong to Willie T. Winnow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Will is a killer or something seems a little off here. But, uh... You know, now we got... Because we already had the photo. And use that immediately. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Well, what you need to do right now is use this passport on the face drum. Identified as suspicious German businessman Boris Schultz. Well, why is he suspicious? What's so suspicious about him? Huh? That's not me being facetious. It's like I actually am curious. Well, what's so specific? Su su suspicious. Suspicious about him. Oh wait, where'd this dust come from? You know what? I'm gonna do everything that I can first before I do this, because because it gets kind of uh iffy with the next scene after this once you go ahead and you put the, the uh, reports into the Tron machine here the arrest Tron this is a good shroom I'm not giving it away to just anyone oh come on fine 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 you got any loose change dang I almost made it past Willie before he spoke to me I think I found your mushrooms Sweet. Hand it over and we'll see what answers the Void offers today. Well, who's the scumbag that did it? Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. 
Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. I should have you arrested for possession. Fantastic. I'm sure my dealer will make a great witness. You win this round, witchy woman. <laughs> well, you know, it, yeah, I don't Goodbye. Care. Let's see. Now, there was some other stuff I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, Ransom. Ransom, I got a special thing for you. How would you like to, you know... Uh, how would you like to make the papers? Literally. Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? You, tabloid hack. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I guess you're going to be doing it anyway. Why the f*** are you so interested in my story? I think it would make a great human interest piece. People love stories about washed up former celebrities. Not to mention it gives you a chance to get back in the limelight. Okay, let's do the f***ing interview. You won't regret this. I doubt it. So, Ransom, not. a few years ago, you seemed to be at the top of your game with a successful career. Then out of nowhere, you publicly crashed and burned, your former life suddenly a flaming wreckage. Tell our readers in your own words why your career hit the skids. I made a lot of bad choices back then. I burned too many bridges, I let the fame go to my head, and life just fell apart. The problem with building a life as an alienating is that people are happy when you fall, and no one wants to help you up. I think our readers will really respond to that, Ransom. A question I would love for you to answer is, why don't you take off your makeup? Are you just a committed performer, or a performer who needs to be committed? I mean, both, but also, you know, it's... Honestly, I can't take the stuck. stuff off. It's not so much as a choice, as it is a horrible curse. Thanks to Madame Marina, you could take a belt sander to my face and the skin would grow back with the makeup intact. Huh. Not the answer I was expecting. Let's talk about happier times now. Tell me about one of the highlights of your career. Oh, my Tonight Show. My Tonight Show appearance. I stuck it to Carson Good. Stole that show. Fame is all I ever cared about, sweet cheeks. Okay. I heard rumors around town that you were planning to get a line of ransom dolls made. What happened there? Oh. There were a lot of issues. The original deal was made with Franklin Edmund, who seems to have fallen off the face of the earth. When I couldn't find him, I went to Chuck, who had no interest in the ransom dolls. No Franklin, no factory, no dolls. Seems you have little to keep you here in Thimbleweed. Why did you stay? Well, you know... I had nowhere else to go. At first, I couldn't afford to leave because my wife froze my assets, and all I had was my trailer. Then I stayed to try and get the clown dolls deal off the ground. But I think now I'm here because like some malignant tumor, this town grew on me, metastasized. And so I've accepted it's permanent. That's sort of sweet and disgusting, I think. So, Ransom, any big regrets? If you could go back, would you do things differently? I regret damn near everything. I was a who burned bridges with everyone around me. Didn't appreciate anything I had when I had it, and I deserve everything I get now. I would do a lot of things differently, but I can't turn back the clock. All I can do is move forward and try to be better. Well, that was refreshingly honest, Ransom. Finally, Ransom. Do you have any big plans for the future? Hmm, which one was the one I said before? Oh, this one. I'm not sure, but it'll probably involve a lot of groveling. I want to be a better person, but I'm stubborn and old, and I don't know if I can change. I'm an arrogant but maybe if I make amends and start over, it'll at least be something. I guess only time will tell. Well, thank you for such a candid response. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. I'll let you know when the finished piece goes to print. Sure, whatever. It's so interesting to think that there's a way to do that in which Ransom actually sounds like a human being. All things considered, he's kind of a scumbag. 
Oh, and I guess there is this. Let's see, is it this room? Franklin? Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Time to go ahead and give this guy an overload. That's a bit strange. What was that? Yeah. Pretty got more. Uh, oh. What on earth? Forgot is about all that. that. That poor man. I've got to help boo him. Hello, Acme Maintenance. It's the Edmund Abu Hotel. We've got an emergency Abu right now. What do you mean you're not available tonight, Abu? You're supposed to be a 24 hour service Arito Abu. Where will I find someone else, Abu, at this hour? You can call the huh. Vision Brothers Plumbing. Well, maybe I imagined it. No, you definitely did not imagine that, buddy. Yeah, this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier with the RNG stuff. Is like he was in a different hotel room from last time. I mean, so is Franklin. His hotel room was different as well. But I think poor Schultz's hotel room always stays the same. You, you got that too? Yeah, okay, good. Gotta use... Oh, I haven't gone to Ricky's YouTube. I go get the tube puller. Forgot about that. And that should be on B Street. See, I'm learning my way around town. I'm getting good at this. Hey, Ricky. I have, uh, got this Hi, receipt. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm, I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. I didn't catch that earlier, that uh, Smart Buy was, was a Best Buy reference. you think I would. I mean, heck, I had to go there yesterday because I bought me a new keyboard. All right, time to get the restaurant up and running. That should fix it. Awesome. Good job, Dolores. Let's get a ransom in here too. I want all parties present for this one. That's great. <laughs> yes, ransom. You are. You're absolutely hilarious. I know you can wait right by the restaurant. I liked how he was. He was facing forward. Now I can't do it again. Ah, there we go. Oh, she, yeah, she's still at Mana Marina's, isn't she? Getting good at using the map to just quickly bounce around the whole town, too. All right, Agent Ray. Time to go ahead and uh, put your report in. Now, if you would please step aside for the real agent to come over here and uh, put in these reports. He's the real agent because he has more than one. Ooh. Yeah, uh-huh. I was sitting here with bated breath. Oh, so what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent Arenos actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Arino. Oh. Blah Reno, blah Reno, oh, blah Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Arino. Yeah, I'll be right uh -huh. back. Willie, you are under arrest, Arino, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Arino. Well, Willie Arino, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Arino? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Arino? Have at him. Do you think we should play good cop, bad cop? What else would we play? Uh, all right, well. I, I forget which one of them I'm using it I'll as. I'll play good cop. I'm the good cop, and she's the bad cop. 
You're not supposed to tell him that. Oh, not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Yeah, I love this part because he just... This goes on for a while, too. Keep talking, murder boy. I'm D.B. Cooper and I stole all the money. I like that. I think that one's my favorite. But yeah, this goes on for a while. Just Willie confessing to a bunch of stupid random stuff because he's being, you know, kind of a jerk. But yeah, he got... He got arrested, you know, for something he didn't do, but you know, he didn't have to be such a big jerk about it. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I'm Jack the Ripper. I love how many of these they actually recorded. Anything else you want to confess to? I took the beef. <laughs> Keep talking, murder boy. I'm the Zodiac Killer. No, that's Ted Cruz. Get it right. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. Ah, I killed Jimmy Hoffa for the mob. Anything else you want to confess to? I was the mastermind behind the Amsterdam Diamond Heist. I didn't know that was a thing. Keep talking, murder boy. I left the toilet seat up. You monster. <laughs> Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I, I caused a Three Mile Island meltdown. What about Chernobyl? Anything else you want to confess to? Chernobyl was also me. Oh, okay, good. I just wanted to clarify that. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I designed the O-ring. Ooh, too soon. Yeah, too soon. Show some respect. What, is, is this the year that... Is this like a year where the guy that designed the O-ring passed away or something? Anything else you want to confess to? I was the one who really shot Greedo. Star Wars. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I was the shooter on the grassy knoll. Keep talking, murder boy. I was Amelia Earhart's unlicensed airplane mechanic. So that's why she crashed. Keep talking, murder boy. Nope. I, I think that about covers you. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stink hole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> oh, there's dust there. No! No! Fast! Fast! No, there's dust on the other side of the bus. Go get it! Come on! Jet! Part four, the will. Alrighty. Who am I in control of right now? Oh, Dolores. But Dolores, you can just hang out right there. I've finally gone ahead and caught back up to where I was in the previous recording, which means I don't have to use the safe file anymore. And, and while it was kind of a bit of a pain having to replay through everything, I, I really didn't want to skip this portion. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you just have an opinion voice, why don't you go and leave your comments down below and I'll get back to making more awesome videos for you guys. Later.